Details from last night's town council meeting on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Friday, June 13th, 2014. I'm Sarah Mannell. Budget presentations for the fiscal 2015 operating budget for the Department of Public's work, Public Works began at last night's town council meeting. DPW Director Dan Santos talked about the department's achievements over the past year. Some significant accomplishments made possible with fiscal year 2014 funding include providing nearly a billion gallons of safe drinking water to homes and businesses in the Hyannis area, treating more than a half a billion gallons of wastewater and septage and repainting well over 200 miles of white and yellow road lines. The highway division alone responded to more than 2,300 unscheduled requests from citizens, up 15% over just last year. We completed the second phase of the renovation of the town's, town clerk's office, as well as renovation of the third and fourth floors of the school administration building. The department completed important dredging projects in Centerville and reconstructed three of our busiest boat ramps on the south side of town. A particular note this year is the more than $2.6 million spent on snow and ice removal during 30 weather events, a record high. These few highlights are among thousands of other tasks that occur every single day of the year at Public Works. 43% of our funding is from the general fund with the remaining 57% from enterprise account funds. The department's total op proposed operating budget for fiscal year 2015 is $20.1 million, representing an overall 6.9% increase over FY14. It is broken out by division, as shown here, with the Water Pollution Control Division having the greatest share at 23%. Administration and technical support represent, represents only 8% of the budget. In other words, 92% of the budget is in the working divisions. There are no proposed changes to staffing levels. The council approved the Department of Public Works budgets and praised Santos for his leadership. The council also heard about the accomplishments of the Department of Regulatory Services from Director Richard Scally. We have some visible and proactive zoning enforcement. We have done neighborhood outreach resulting in heading off potential problems. We have enforcement and court proceedings for those not in compliance, which continues to increase year to year. This department conducted over 30,000 inspections, issued in excess of 8,992 permits, and more than 12,000 citizens were assisted at our uh, counter at 200 Main Street. Here's some interesting projects that we've had over this past year, the, the Cape Cod Creamery, the Verizon Building, the Coles Department Store, and of course the Whole Foods Market, uh, as you know. And coming soon, the BMW dealership, uh, which will be coming online very soon. For fiscal year 2014, the overall economy continues to improve. And the permitting activity of this division continues to increase. Your office has witnessed an increase of upgrading existing housing stock, including kitchen and bath improvements, and remodeling and enlargements. Through the utility company and center programs, many homes were made, uh, being made more energy efficient, increasing insulation values, weather, stripping of doors and windows, replacement of more energy efficient furnaces and hot water heaters. And the council also approved the fiscal 15 operating budget for the Department of Public Works during last night's meeting. Next, the council heard from Lynn Poyant, the Director of Community Services. Poyant talked about her department's successes. Last year we had a number of accomplishments based on the money that you provided to us um, during the budget process. We added seasonal waterways assistance that assisted staff in cleaning up um, some of the trash that was actually in the water and the picture on the right is actually um, bluefish and that is not that long ago it was a couple of weeks ago and unfortunately we do find um, things like that uh, happen uh, occasionally 
um, more often than we would like throughout town. When the waterways um, assistants are out on the water, they will find plastic bottles and other things. And we, one of the pictures that I was going to show you was actually um, the trash bags that were collected, um, but it wouldn't show you quite what that does. Um, also, as uh, Mr. Santos had mentioned earlier, that we uh, worked uh, to improve three boat ramps in the Three Bay Area and two dredging projects. Uh, we did a creation of a mooring special permit, which allows use for a limited period of time for a special event um, and the creation of a rental uh, mooring waiting list. Um, we had two cl kids clamming classes. We increased oyster propagation efforts and successfully performed Centerville River shellfish relays. The picture on the lower left is um, a waiting line at Scudder Lane uh, for people to go shell fishing. And we have a happy group over on the right. A lot of members of bars are there. We um, extended Craigville Beach operations. We opened earlier in, and kept it open a little bit later. And part of that was to improve the traffic over at the intersection uh, with Long Pond because uh, prior to the 9 o'clock opening, we had a lot of cars that were were lining up to get in. They were also doing that at Covels, and it was preventing a public safety. So that program actually worked out very well as well. Uh, recreation equipment replacement program. We started replacing old tables in FY13. It's something that takes a while. Um, they didn't get in that condition overnight. Uh, we concentrated a lot of time on Veterans Park Beach, but we are looking to do other areas in the coming year. Um, one of the big things that we've been asked for for a number of years was to create an online registration program. Um, so for both recreation and senior services, we added an online reservation um, registration program. Um, this right here is Chanel Rose, our marketing and special events coordinator at the Senior Center. Following that presentation and thoughtful comments from town councilors, the council approved the budgets for all departments that fall under community services, including Sandy Neck Beach Park, the Senior Center, and others. Council will continue debating the FY15 operating budget at its meeting June 19th. Funding for operations of the West Barnstable Shooting Range will be included in the fiscal 2015 budget, despite the fact the rain range remains closed. Councilor Phil Wallace proposed an amendment Thursday night that would remove that funding. I think we ought to, uh, I'm going to make a motion to withdraw the recommendation and request for the $54,000 and uh, amend the uh, budget. Finance Director Mark Milne explained what would happen in both cases if funds were removed or if funds remained. If we um, reduce the budget and subsequently the range reopens, we will have to come back before the council for an appropriation to fund the cost of operating it. If we leave it in the budget, um, none of it will get expended if the range doesn't open. So it'll end up falling to surplus at the end of the year if the range were closed for the entire year. Um, so either one way we'll have to come back to the, if it reopens, we'll have to come back to the council. If you leave it in, it just won't get spent. Councillor Fred Shear Godis expressed concerns about removing the funding while Councillor Ann Kennedy was concerned about the council making a statement about the status of the range. I think some of us have a commitment that we're going to move forward with opening that range and I think keeping this item in the budget shows that we have that commitment. It's not an expenditure, it's an appropriation and um, I couldn't support the amendment. I, that I would not be making a statement that I do not want the shooting range to open or close by um, suggesting that it was premature to appropriate the money. That's, that's the only thing that I'm saying is that it still um, has a lot of discussion and uh, um, hoops, and there's a uh, land swap that I'm particularly interested in. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different angles to this. So I'm just suggesting that I agree with Councillor Wallace that it might be premature. I have, I have not made up my mind about the status of the shooting range. The amendment was voted down with two councillors in favor and 10 opposed. Well, be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable, this morning, weekdays at 7 a.m. On Monday's show, we will talk with Town Manager Tom Lynch, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Mary Schakowsky, and have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.